AH-64E Apache Guardian, the most feared helicopter, will stop the Russian convoy. The US Army will spend billions of dollars over the next decade to update its legendary Apache helicopter to the AH-64E Guardian. The most recent and most likely final variant, the Apache Guardian, which has already seen combat in Afghanistan, embodies the current advancements in US military doctrine, like drone interoperability and the capacity to strike marine targets. It's ready to give Russia the toughest fight they ever had and resist the Russian convoy. But how? What is the secret behind its indomitable power? What's the game plan? Hello and welcome to the Iron News. To get interesting news like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. That being said, let's begin. In today's episode, we are going to see and talk about AH-64E Apache Guardian, the most feared helicopter that will stop the Russian convoy. The Boeing AH-64 Guardian Apache is a twin turboshaft attack helicopter with tailwheel landing gear and a tandem cockpit for a two-person crew. It has a sensor suite positioned on the nose for target acquisition as well as night vision equipment. It is equipped with a 30mm M230 chain gun located between the main landing gear and the forward fuselage, as well as four hard points on the subwing pylons for carrying weapons and storage which are normally a combination of AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and Hydra-70 rocket pods. The AH-64 features a lot of redundancy in its systems to help it survive in combat. If we take a look at its history, the Apache originated as Hughes Helicopters Model 77, which was designed to replace the AH-1 Cobra in the US Army's Advanced Attack Helicopter Program. On September 30th, 1975, the prototype YAH-64 took to the air for the first time, in 1976, the US Army chose the YAH-64 over the Bell YAH-63, and full production began in 1982. McDonnell Douglas maintained AH-64 manufacture and development after buying Hughes helicopters in 1984. In April 1986, the helicopter was first developed by the United States Army. In March 1997, the Army received the improved AH-64D Apache Longbow. Boeing Defense, Space and Security has resumed production, with over 2,400 AH-64s expected to be delivered by 2020. The AH-64 is primarily used by the United States Army. Multiple nations, including Greece, Japan, Israel, the Netherlands, Singapore, and the United Arab Emirates, have adopted it as their principal assault helicopter. The Augusta Westland Apache was constructed under license in the United Kingdom. The AH-64 Apache helicopters have seen action in Panama, the Persian Gulf, Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq. The Apache was utilized by Israel in its wartime battles in Lebanon and Gaza. Apache helicopters from the United Kingdom and the Netherlands have been used in the conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq. Formerly known as the AH-64D Block III, it was renamed the AH-64E Guardian in 2012 to reflect its enhanced capabilities improved digital connectivity, the Joint Tactical Information Distribution System, more powerful T700GE701D engines with upgraded face gear transmission to accommodate more power, the ability to control unmanned aerial vehicles (UAVs), full IFR capability, and improved landing gear are all available on the AH-64E. New composite rotor blades underwent successful testing in 2004 and increased cruising speed, climb rates, and cargo capacity. The first deliveries were made in November of 2011. On October 24, 2012, full rate production was approved, with 634 AH-64Ds to be modified to AH-64E standard and 56 new build AH-64Es to begin in 2019-20. to A cognitive decision aiding system and new self-diagnostic abilities will be included in manufacturing lots 4 through 6. Longbow radar has been modified to include overseas capability, which might enable naval strikes. AESA radar is also being considered. The E model is designed to be suitable for use in marine activities. To further boost range and endurance, the Army has indicated an interest in adding extended range fuel tanks to the AH 64E. The L3 Communications MUMTX data link, which communicates on the C, D, L, and Q frequency bands to transmit and receive data and video with all Army UAVs, will be deployed in place of two earlier equivalents on AH 64Es. Link 16 data links will be installed in lots 5 and 6. 500 AH 64Es have been delivered as of April 2020. The Apache is one of several military systems introduced in the 1980s. 
like the M1 Abrams tank and the F-15E Strike Eagle, which demonstrated their worth in the 1991 Gulf War. The first shots of the combat were fired by Apache helicopters, which used Hellfire missiles to destroy Iraqi low-band radars, opening the way for the first F-117 stealth jet strikes. 277 Apache helicopters were deployed in the flight, claiming the destruction of 278 Iraqi tanks and a slew of other targets, a high rate of return by most weapons systems standards. In action, just one Apache was lost. Even an armored helicopter is vulnerable to low-tech machine guns, anti-aircraft cannons, and even rocket-propelled grenades, much alone surface-to-air missiles, unlike main battle tanks or jet fighters. Later, conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq saw AH-64s continue to prove their lethal effectiveness, but they couldn't avoid gunfire, as evidenced by a strike group of 31 Apaches being badly shot up by heavy machine guns and anti-aircraft cannons during an infamous raid against the Iraqi Medina Division. The Guardian Apache was authorized in 2012, 15 years after the AH-64 longbow modification, which installed an APG-78 radar above the roadster, allowing the Apache to identify and fire at ground targets beyond the line of sight. However, without boosting engine power to compensate, the Apache's unloaded weight climbed by 15%, reaching 11,800 pounds. The new AH-64E solves this by incorporating a trinity of new technologies, including more powerful T-700GE 701D turboshaft engines, a contemporary face gear transmission system, and new composite rotor blades, which boosts the AH-64E's speed from 140 to 180 miles per hour. According to one field commander, the Guardian Apache can therefore arrive on the battlefield faster and stay overhead for 57% longer. The Guardian's crash resistance is further improved by the new hydraulic shock strut landing gear. A drone controller data link from the manned unmanned team, MUMT, allows the Guardian's co-pilot to operate and receive data from a circling army MQ-1C Grey Eagle drone. This enables the Apache crew to monitor the battlefield before they arrive, and even to hover behind cover, waiting for a drone to identify a target so it can launch a deadly pop-up strike. The Apache crew may even take manual control of the drones to use a laser to paint targets or fire Hellfire missiles from the drones. The Army, on the other hand, has lately said that it would not pursue another big Apache upgrade because it needs resources to launch its next-generation future vertical lift helicopter by 2030. However, new weapons might be developed. Boeing has proposed laser-armed Apaches for killing drones, and an AH-64 recently tested the Brimstone anti-tank missile. The Apache Guardian may be the last of the Apaches, but it appears like it will see a lot more combat in the next decades. So, what do you think about this AH-64 Apache Guardian? Do you think Russia can ever handle its wrath? Which feature drew your attention the most? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you loved today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more similar stuff. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.